and welcome everyone. Uh, it's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and I'm here today with another day of the 100 days challenge. Uh, again, I'm going to be using newspapers and again, we're going to create something from newspapers. It is totally inspired by 7 Plaza challenge, but I know many, many other beautiful uh, channels are joining this challenge. Uh, day four, Margaret created a book page journal card with a pocket. So here I'm going to be cheating a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to use as my base envelope. And I'm going to create using newspapers some collage on my envelope. Uh, here I'm going to reinforce the envelope. So I'm going to glue few parts of the envelope permanently so my pocket will be actual envelope pocket and to make it a little bit stronger as a card as a journaling card I think this I will have as a pocket I will have journaling card here with the window around so to make it stronger as a card I'm gonna grab some old envelope so from this envelope, uh, I'm going to cut the piece which I can fit inside. So I do have card cut it in the size which I can fit inside. I'm going to slide it there. I'm going to take my embossing tool and with that embossing tool, I'm going to trace the shape of this window to that card. Just make sure I know where to do some decoration. Now I can take it off. Or oh, not. <laughs> and here I can see the shape. And I can do some stamping or stenciling or, or maybe watercoloring. I'm not watercoloring person. I have no skills at all. So I'm going to pretend. I'm going to alter it. <laughs> I'm going to alter watercoloring to my um, skills somehow, which are not too big. So first what I'm going to do, I'm going to do collage here and collage uh, here on this card from newspapers. I do have prepared pieces of... Uh, of newspapers here and because I know that I would like to do watercoloring or on my project uh, I need to use now glue which is water resistant uh, like if I will use this uh, glue stick I know once it's wet again it start to melt so I don't want to use this glue stick I need to use some glue which will stay dry or stay stay uh, kind of like water resistant when I will do my coloring for that, I'm going to take Mod Podge and use Mod Podge to glue all my pieces as a collage on here and here. So I do have my both pieces covered with uh, book pages. It's already dry and I can uh, start to do some watercoloring uh, because it's newspaper to make sure that it will take watercolors the way I want to stay on newspapers, I need to do first layer with uh, some kind of uh, mixed media medium, medium, uh, some acrylic medium or something. I do have here gesso, so I do have white gesso or clear gesso, and I'm thinking I'm gonna be using clear gesso because I wanna actually see the newspapers uh, on my on my project. If I will use white gesso, it may. Oh, will be not too much visible. Although, if I will use the roller to add the white gesso on my on my papers, that way I can spread it evenly to very thin coat, so newspapers will be kind of like behind the scene, semi-transparent. <laughs> so I do have here this foam uh, roller, and I'm gonna use white gesso on the envelope and clear gesso on the card which I will glue inside later or maybe I will keep it like taking card off so the white gesso I'm gonna use here on the envelope and 
And with this, I believe I can somehow spread it evenly. And I will don't have their uh, brushes strokes. It does have wrinkles just because I glued that uh, newspaper paper. So it does have wrinkles, but the white just so it's it's evenly coated. I'm gonna wash my foam foam thingy. And on the card, I'm gonna be using this clear gesso. So I'm gonna put just a little bit here. Take it on my roller and apply it. Now I'm gonna let dry both of these. They do look quite similar, do they? And meanwhile, my envelope and the card are drying. I'm gonna prepare myself for watercoloring. Because I don't have a painting palette, I'm gonna create one. <laughs> I do have here this empty egg tray. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it on two pieces. And yeah, I think that will sit nicely. I don't wanna have it flimsy, so I'm gonna be using hot glue gun and glue it all together. So I do have here my gun and I'm gonna just put a little bit of that hot glue on the side and we'll see what will happen if it will melt the piece or if it will stay. I do believe it's very strong now and I've got here this old envelope and I'm gonna be using that to create bottom and sides. I guess. Now I do have my <laughs> little shining palette uh, for my colors and I can start to watercoloring. Well, that's my lighting palette right here. Uh, I already mixed up some uh, watercolor washes. I think it's called washes, that, that wash technique, <laughs> I'm not sure. I do have here water, the colors I used to make these mix. And I'm gonna doodle a little bit on both of these. I do have here Arteza uh, roll, blah, 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 Roller Ball Pen. It's perfect when you want to do some doodling. This pen uh, gives you beautiful fine line and it works really well. So I'm gonna do just some simple doodling. And I think it's perfect relaxing art. Even if you don't know watercoloring, just go to try it with the doodling. It's something so perfect, I have to say. Some doodling here and maybe here. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna grab my watercolor wash washers. I still have no idea how it's called. Put a little bit of watercolor, oh, uh, water, not watercolor, water around. And there, start to apply there some colors. Thank you. 
So if you are not skilled, like I'm not skilled, this easy applying some colors is very enjoyable, I have to say. So I think I'm going to speed up this process because for me it will take a time. <laughs> I do have my bases and I really like that uh, I like these colors so much I'm not gonna do any water coloring um, like I'm not gonna do more of water coloring at all I was thinking I got here these beautiful stickers so maybe I can use these and some of these mini labels I do have them on buy me a coffee so I'm gonna put link down below this I do have uh, on my Etsy <clears throat> and I was thinking I'm gonna do something so I'm gonna cut out a few images from here and pull out a few butterflies from here and I will see so I cut out a few images from my sheet with labels and I'm thinking somehow like this not sure yet but what I would like to do I do have here this Posca pen. Yeah. And with that Posca pen, I'm gonna add white splatters.
I'm not gonna add anything else. I think that is enough. And now close look what I have created today. I do have here my <laughs> super shining palette with the create sign here at the front. <laughs> I have to say I love it so much. I do love all these spaces where I can actually mix the colors together. I somehow forget I can do that. So if I will put all these three in another, you know, uh, bow, I can <laughs> mix these colors here, not on my table. And do not uh, mess up with my hand next time. You will have to think about that, but I do love that. And these are my envelope. I also used the same distress ink I used on this side to distress a little bit the edges and around the window. So this is my envelope and my watercoloring and the little layout. I did enjoy it so much. This is probably as much as I can do with watercolors. <laughs> Some kind of splatters and <laughs> kind of like abstract art. And this is my tag which I thought I'm gonna glue inside but then I realized that I don't want to glue it in there I want to try even more that watercoloring so <laughs> this is my trying and it looks quite cool together and it looks like this from opposite side so I'm very happy with the result so this is my sharing for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found some inspiration. Maybe if you are missing your uh, palette for painting, maybe you can do something like this. It's quite good. It does have nice size of the bows here. So it's quite good. And uh, maybe you didn't try watercolors and you want to try it. So I think abstract art art is the best one <laughs> and do the link and cover any kind of what you think it needs to be covered you know just play with it and enjoy it thank you so much for spending your time with me and visiting me today i appreciate that very much all links will be in the description box below i wish you all a beautiful day take care of yourself and i will see you soon bye